Hello, it's Arch Romano. Today I'm doing another niche brand review. Um, this is by La Design Parfumeur. Um, they've got about 70 fragrances. Huge amount of fragrances. I've tried one before, which was Poivre Piquant, I think. I didn't much care for it. I, I mean, it's, it was nice, but it didn't really go anywhere on my skin. This one's different. Again, it doesn't really go anywhere on my skin. Sorry, itchy nose. Um, but I like the smell of it a lot more. It's a lot more interesting to me. So, first of all, thank you to Diamonds Are Forever from Fragrantica, AKA Mama Diamonds. Um, you sent me some gorgeous packages, which I thanked you for previously. Um, but this is one of your samples. Look, it's got your cute little label on with the flowers and everything. So this is a floral fragrance. It came out in 1999. Uh, it's called La Chasse au Papillon extreme um, or translated into English it's the hunt of butterflies um, extreme version because they did do one before that was called La Chasse au Papillon full stop um, I haven't smelled that one so I don't know the differences so I'm just doing this off of this review so I'll read you what it says on their website about what this actually is it says um, actually I'll give you the notes first before I do that. So, um, the top notes are, and I have to read across here, um, it has, the top notes are citrus, saffron, pink pepper and apricot. Then the heart notes are orange blossom, tuberose, jasmine and linden blossom, which is also known as lime blossom not related to the fruit at all. It's not the blossom that comes off of the fruit, it's a tree that actually grows in this country. I need to find one so I can grab one of the blossoms off of it. They're very unusual looking. I'll put a picture of one up now. See that? Very weird looking things. And this kind of smells like that. Um, and then the, the base notes are ylang ylang and honey. So you've got Four very rich top end of the scale florals in this um, and some spices and then some weirdness going on which is the weirdness that is what I like so this is what they say on their website it says a nighttime chase of white flowers and velvety woods La Chasse au Papillon Extreme is the intense eau de parfum version of the original classic floral this version has a has deeper sun-drenched white flowers with more pronounced woody aspects. Oh yes it does. Um, the freshness of pink pepper and earthy saffron add emotional complexity. Um, the jasmine has become more animalic. It's velvety apricot note. Oh yes, apricot. Did I say that? There's apricot in the top notes. Yeah, I think I said it. I'm losing the plot. Um, it's velvety apricot note uh, well suited to the darker, more secretive atmosphere, a nighttime chase of extreme elegance. Lovely description. It makes me feel like I can just envision a nymph running through a forest chasing after butterflies and it's very natural smelling and everything. And yeah, I will tell you what it smells like. Um, I'll firstly say I dumped half of this on me today when I left for work, which is a meal. This is a two meal sample. And by the time I got to work, I could barely smell it, which is such a shame, because it smells pretty interesting to me. So just while I'm putting this on, Linden Blossom, which is the note that's, that I find most interesting in this. It's supposed to be kind of like honeysuckle, but I think it smells really planty. It's really strange, and I really like it, and I want to smell the real thing one day. Um, but yeah, what does this smell like? Cool, is what it smells like. The overall feel of this is very dry. It's a really dry scent um, and it smells very strongly of pepper. Pepper is really, really powerful in this. Um, and it also smells very much like very dry wood, real wood, almost like pencil shavings wood. Pencil shavings sprinkled with loads of pepper um, and then this very planty smell that's also very high pitched as well and sharp. Um, and that's why really I'm glad, because I'm glad I'm actually getting to smell what Linden Blossom smells like for real. It's, it's, it's almost, not mossy, it's almost stemmy kind of smelling. It smells like that picture, you can imagine, it's, if you crushed it, it would smell 
very natural and green and planty. So that's the three things I get from this straight away. Pepper, very dry woods, and then this really weird planty smell. And it makes for a really interesting combination. I'm shocked at the fact that this has four very usually powerful standout flowers. In this, they seem to have tamed them very well and they're very elegant um, and very in the back, very far in the background as well. I'm a huge lover of tuberose. And in this, I can really smell ylang ylang in the beginning um, really smell Lang Lang. I can smell Ylang Ylang in the beginning but only really far in the distance. The pepper just washes over everything somehow and orange blossom I don't smell. Um, jasmine not really. It's supposed to be some sort of animalic jasmine in it. This doesn't smell animalic or jasmine-y at all. Tuberose I only get very small wafts of it and it's a very light crisp clean tuberose. It's not the sort of tuberose you would find in things like Fracart um, or Michael Kors or anything that's really tuberose based. This is all about the wood, the very dry wood, this very planty, crisp, natural smelling note and lots of pepper. So I will say it smells of pepper but it doesn't smell peppery and that sounds weird but what I mean is it's like, it doesn't have the nose tingling effect of pepper. It just smells like pepper with the heat taken out. So kind of like if you, if you bit into a chili and tasted the flavor of chili, but there was no spice behind it, no heat. So it's very, very strong pepper and it's all the way through as well. That just kind of stays there on my skin. I, I've read reviews where people are saying they can smell tuberose quite prominently. Um, and I really don't. It's really about those three elements that I mentioned before. It stays quite linear on me as well, uh, meaning it doesn't change drastically over time, only because there isn't really much time for it to do that. It kind of just is gone within an hour, or it's very faint. It's just a very kind of faintly peppery floral that's a little bit nondescript to me anyway. So that's my review of La Chasse au Papillon Extreme, or The Hunt of Butterflies. Great name, um, kind of cool smelling perfume, shame about the longevity. Anyway, click my logo to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another review. Goodbye.